Hi everybody, this video is going to show you how to change your settings in the sharing features of Google Docs, Slides, and everything in Google Drive. Now we can do this in a number of ways, but it's going to look the same no matter which way you go in. So right off the bat, I'm going to show you from here what it looks like if you were just using your sharing settings from your home page in the Drive. Okay, so remember this is Google Drive, it's not Classroom. This is where we have all our documents, all our work, all the things we're about to share. So if I want to do it right from here, this screen, if I just did a right click, on that option, down here you have two things. You have share and you have get shareable link. I can go click share and this is the pop-up you get and this is actually the pop-up you'll get if you were in the actual document as well. So if you want to share to specific people, you would go in and you would actually type in their name and put that in there. But a lot of us aren't doing that because it's going to be going to most of our students. So rather than doing that, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here where it says get link. Now if I just copy that link, they're just going to get a link so they can look at it. But some of you want something that kids can edit as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to here and you're going to go change link to District School Board Niagara and you're going to click on that blue part. Once you click on that blue part, there's actually some hidden menus in here. So right now it's saying anyone in the DSBN can view. That's the key part, can view. If I want them to edit, they would go in here and here are your three options. They can either see it, they can leave comments on it, or they can edit on it. So if you want to collaborate with someone or you want your students to collaborate with each other, you would want to choose editor. Okay, now, anyone who gets this link in DSBN can now edit my page. If I want to go beyond that, there's also a little drop down button right beside the DSBN here. So I can restrict it totally, or I can go to anyone with the link. Now, what that means is I could post this anywhere. If I shared it with a friend, if I put it in an email, anyone who's not part of DSPN could open that. Okay, so I would never put sensitive information or anything like that in here because now not only can anyone get this link, anyone with this link can now edit that. So maybe you want to change it because you want to share with a colleague in a different board or something. You would change that back to viewer. That prevents them from editing. And then all you're going to do is you're going to hit copy link and then you're going to hit done. So if I go in, I'm going to just go into a different account over here. If I had that link and I pasted it in and hit enter, Here's that slideshow, but if you look up here, notice I can only view it. So I can't type in here, I can't do anything. It's view only because that's the setting we did. Okay, so let's go back for a second. Let's say we are actually in something. So let's go to my slideshow presentation here. If you're in a doc or a slideshow or a Google Drawing, there's also going to be the share button up here, but watch when I click it, It looks pretty much the exact same thing, except you're going to notice I have a lot of other people on this as well. But that's because I've added them as specific users. But if you look down here, you can see right now, District School Board Niagara, anyone who has the link. So I could copy that link. If I want to change it, once again, just go into change and I change their viewing access and I change whatever it is I want on there. So just remember viewer, if you share it, they can see it. If they're editors, they can write on that. So that's important to know. So finally, one last note. If you're sharing a slideshow with a video that you've put in it, so not directly from YouTube, but from your Google Drive, you're going to have to make sure you share that original video before you put it into your Google Drive. Because if you share this and someone went to it, they might get access denied or unable to play. So just remember when you add a video, you're going to have to go find that video too and do the exact same thing I just showed you. You're going to have to go to share, and you're going to have to change those rights to everyone can view or DSPN can view, whatever it is you're going to use. So just that, that's just a little reminder if you're inserting a video into a Google slide, you got to share not only the slide, but also the video.